Okay, today I'm going to share my head tracker um, pan and tilt setup here for my um, sky surfer glider. So this is my setup and how I can use my uh, Google um, head tracking um, features and control my um, head tracker setup here. Alright, so these are the uh, all the part needed so on this side this is the system that we're going to have mounted on the plane mount on the plane this is the radio that i use for the controlling the airplane and also for the uh, communication um, with my google so this is jumper t16 so i'm going to share how to set up the jumper t16 and then connect these to my Skyzone Google. This is a SK04, uh, the latest version by Skyzone. So this uh, Google basically comes with the head tracker um, output, which allow us to uh, transmit um, head tracking, uh, which is comes with the uh, Google to the radio. All right, so I'm going to share the the first part here. So this is quite simple. I don't have any OSD here. I don't have any flight, flight controller. So this is basically a simple mount for Sky Surfer. So for those who are familiar with Sky Surfer, so this is where the canopy cut out. Um, so I you need to of course you need to have access to three D printer to be able to print out uh, the uh, the mount here um, so what you need is the the bottom section this is for the canopy set cutout section and the uh, pan and tilt system up there so I'm going to share this uh, in the video uh, so this is just I'm just using a simple uh, 9 gram servo um, I'm, I think I'm going to use the uh, the uh, 9 gram the cheapest 9 gram servo that you can get like 1 or 2 dollars um, it's quite cheap um, so you need two servo for panning and for tilting. Um, so the way that it's set up is this way. So one servo at the bottom of this plate here, control uh, panning, and the bottom section, the, the top section here, basically control the tilting. Um, and here I attach uh, Ishin and the X03, I believe, um, for the FPV part here. Um, so this is my old um, um, FPV that comes with the video transmitter. Um, it's quite cheap, I believe. It costs around, I think it's less than hundred ringgit. All right. So, but you need to power this with a single cell uh, lithium ion uh, battery. So I power this with uh, my single cell one thousand three hundred milliampere single cell lipo. Okay, you can just I just can just connect to this and make it to work and transmit audio. And please I believe this um, radio transmitter can transmit up to 200 milliwatt power, so should be more than enough for, for my general flying. So this is uh, the setup that uh, that that we need to, to do is um, so for both of the servo that control pan and tilt. So you need to connect to channel 5 here, so channel 5 for my panning, channel 6 for my uh, tilting, is it, uh, or did the way around? Channel 5, the shortest one is the top, uh, that one is for tilting, channel 5 and channel 6 for panning. Okay, so you connect to the, to the receiver, and of course you can see here, uh, connect to power the receiver to make it to function. Alright, so that is, that is the, the setup for for the plane unit. Okay, so done with that. And the second thing that we need to, to, to configure is your radio. So your radio here, you need to go to the to your to your model. Okay, and then the things that you need to set up is just this select model, go to the mix section and add this channel 5 and channel 6 
and channel 5 uh, for you can you can set up the other way around so channel 5 for tr6 uh, which is uh, for the trainer so we're going to use trainer um, trainer input so as you can see uh, you can choose from here this is trainer and then when you scroll down uh, look for tr6 and for the channel 6 Okay, so I choose the R5, Cracker 5. Alright, so that's it for the radio. Uh, and the most important part here is the, um, the Google itself. Alright, so this is my Google. So there are a few things that we need to set up. I'm not quite sure if we, I can get the um, video correctly displayed here. Try my best. Okay, so in the you need to go to the head tracking uh, menu. Hope you can see that. And then select head tracker and make sure that your head tracker is on. Uh, and PBM channel set to channel five to channel six. Band tracking range set to ninety degree. Tilt tracking range set to 60 degree, uh, pen correction and then no, uh, PPM reverse set to normal, and that's it. Okay, so that is the only things that you need to set up. All right, so next, what we need now, so let me put this down first. I'm going to connect everything. So connect your, um, right before that. Let me connect my head tracking unit. Okay, so you need to. This is the, the connector that, that comes with, but I'm using a different connector. Basically, the one that comes with the sorry, Sky Zone, basically this one. Okay, this is only one section, but I'm, I'm having trouble or difficulties to, to connect because you need to adjust this up and down to be able to connect. Maybe the connector here, they, they didn't make it right in terms of the length so you need to somehow to, to adjust this so I use my audio cable here it seems to work okay but still with minor adjustment with two section here alright so you need to connect um, to the bottom of the head tracker down there okay and then um, top section here for jumper T16, the trainer section, uh, the trainer uh, port. So all you need to do is on that. Lost. Okay, that one is no. So make sure that just just a little bit. Trainer okay, that one is working now. Trainer signal recovered. Alright, so I'm going to connect everything. I'm going to put it, pick this down. Connect this one and of course connect to here. Okay, so now you can see you can see that my head trigger is now working. So you have moved up, you can see my um, head trigger, uh, my servo also moving. Okay. You go down, up and down, look up, look down, turn right, turn left, turn right, turn left, go down, go up, down, up. So basically you can see, okay, okay when you panning, tilting, okay, so it works. It's simple as that. Okay. Works just fine. Nice. Okay, so I hope um, this basically can help you how to set up um, Skyzone um, Google with jumper T16 and also a simple pen and tilt mechanism. So I'm going to share the files on Thingiverse. 
uh, you can download over there and then um, have fun